Hello, happy Friday. Welcome to week four of Vlog -a Days 2019. It is December 20th. And I totally feel like yesterday should have been a Friday because of how crazy it was. Um, so let's see. It started off with my lung doctor appointment. So I have been getting checked for asthma um, uh, since like about two weeks or so. I did a methylcholine challenge test, did PFTs. Uh, where's where they put you if you don't if you're not familiar with these they put you in a box and make you breathe um, into a machine so they can test the capacity of your lungs um, I passed the PFTs which is pulmonary function test with flying colors all above 100% I had no fear I would do that but then my doctor told me that she wanted to do a methylcholine challenge test so this is where they sit you in another box and they basically give you this um, substance that you breathe in a breathing treatment to make you have basically the induction of an asthma attack and then you have to breathe against the machine to prove that your lungs work or it can diagnose you with asthma so each dose that they give you of this substance which is methylcholine is stronger and stronger each time so by the time I got to number five I literally felt like I had an elephant sitting on my chest because everything was so constricted which is what it's supposed to do and then I had to blow into this machine and breathe and um, see how far up I could get well I passed that with flying colors too everything was like over 100% so um, also all my lab work came back fine there's no fungal thing going on and my eosinophils are good all that stuff so I don't have asthma which is good I just have difficulty breathing like just now I had to take a deep breath I get very winded when I talk I'm fine when I run most of the time depends on the day like today is kind of a overcast day but it's not terribly humid and I'm okay the last two days were crystal clear and I breathed fine um, but there are just some days where my breathing is terrible and like when I'm running if you are ever next to me on the treadmill you'll see me like put my hands on the treadmill and kind of push myself up and that's because I feel like I cannot get air to the bottom of my lungs and I'm just kind of supporting my uh, torso so I can actually breathe and then I'll take a deep breath and it'll be fine or if I'm not on a treadmill and I'm running I'm telling you all my secrets uh, you'll see me take my hand and kind of push on my hips and it kind of helps me push upright so I can take that deep breath I think I do it subconsciously now sometimes I don't even notice that I'm doing it um, during the Grinch with all of the stage smoke holy cow Cow was bad um, so I don't know if I have an allergy or if I have something heart going on I have no idea basically my doctor was like hmm, it's not your lungs your lungs are perfect so anyway she also thinks it might be something environmental because she said in the last like two weeks she's had like eight runners who are previously healthy come in um, with the same thing so that does make me feel a little bit better but anyway um, that was first. Then on my way back to work, I discovered that my son's Mother's Day out had been canceled because of no power. And so it was freezing in there because you know, when it gets below 50 in the South, everybody's freezing, which it's true. I freeze when it's below 50. Um, so we had to scramble to find what he was gonna do because both Jason, myself and my mom were all working, but it, it worked out. Um, then after that we worked and then we had our work Christmas party and then I had our church women's Christmas party so it was like bam 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 back to back yesterday um, but anyway oh then I got home and my Christmas cards had arrived now these Christmas cards have been long time coming and they're all actually sealed so I'll have to show you one when I get home but um yeah, they arrived yesterday. So I had, I stayed up till about 11 last night addressing them all and now I'm gonna go mail them. So that's first. And then we have Jason's dad coming over with his girlfriend for dinner tonight for Christmas. So we're gonna go home. I'm gonna go home in a little while and uh, clean and make chili. Jason's actually off this weekend so he can help me out with a lot. And then that's it for today. Still don't know what we're doing tomorrow. We kind of have plans, but I'm not sure if they're gonna pan out. So stick around and see. And I'm sorry I'm rambling, but that's my life story of the last month uh, here. And uh, I wanted to wait until I knew if I had asthma or not before I went into the whole spill. So now you know, and now I know I don't have asthma, which is good. Um, but now we need to figure out what the heck is going on. So anyway, follow along this weekend. We should have a lot of fun. Like I said, Jason is off work. So it's always fun when he's around and yeah, we'll take you along with us for whatever stuff we come into contact with. <laughs> that sounds really crazy. Whatever 
happens, we'll take you along with us. These are the Christmas cards we chose this year. And that's the back. We did have these photos taken uh, professionally. And then the one of the dogs I just took myself. Uh, so yeah, I love it. I love the way it turned out. I was trying to go for a more um, like dark green, navy blue look, not so red Christmassy. So I love it. And then now I am going to make eggnog cake. So one of our patients brought us an eggnog cake this week. I'd never heard of it before. So I looked up the ingredients and it seemed pretty easy. This is gonna be the dessert tonight for dinner with Jason's parents, or Jason's, sorry, uh, dad and his girlfriend. And it seems pretty easy. I haven't tried this yet, because obviously this is my first time to do this. But uh, anyway, I'll let you know how it turns out. The one at work was really good, so hopefully this one will be really good too. Here's the cake, and I did pour the glaze icing on top before it cooled off too much. So it's kind of like hardened a little bit, which, is always delicious, so I'm hoping this turned out okay. And here's the chili, yummy. And then we also serve chili here with uh, Frito scoops and jalapenos. Hey, dude, what you got there? Present. From Miss Amy. Miss Amy, she's our hairdresser. What'd she give you? Well, come here. Come here. I want to see what's inside. Come, come what dump it right here. What's in there? What is all that? <gasps> Whoa. Look at the candy. Look at the candy. Is there... Ooh, gingerbread. Gingerbread. You have your gingerbread cookies to eat from school too, huh? Gingerbread. Eat gingerbread. Gingerbread. <laughs> 17. Today's the 20th. We're finally caught up on our advent calendar. So he's going to open number 20. What's in number 20, dude? Oh, there it is. A tool. What was that? A toolbox? Ooh, a toolbox. Go for it. No trying to open this now. Yeah, now, yeah. Didn't take too long. Oh, is that a big bow? Ooh, what is that, man? It's a house. No, it's not a house. The Carter. <gasps> what is that? Is that a choo choo train? <laughs> is it blowing bubbles? Whoa, hey, don't turn it upside down. <laughs> Okay, put it on the ground. There you go. Don't pick it up. <laughs> Is it gonna get you? you Want to open day twenty-one of your advent calendar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's do it. Where's twenty-one? That's twenty-three. I see it. It's in the middle. Go up. Nope, go over. There you go. <gasps> it's more track. Cool. I put some more flags on this. You can. You can put some more flags on them. Yay. What do you have in your hand? What is that? Yeah. Is that a Mickey bubble wand? On your hand. That's cool. You like Mickey Bubbles? Uh huh. This is my coffee buddy and has been since uh, a long time. All right, go ahead. He loves to help me make coffee. He's been doing this. Whew. At least since he was maybe a little over 12 months old. What are you doing? Put it on 10. <laughs> Good job. You think you're funny? funny. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Do y'all realize there's only four days until Christmas? It didn't hit me until I wrote it down. It's crazy. So this is our new game. These ornaments on his tree, like y'all saw, are 
technically advent ornaments, but we did not put anything in them this year. I'm definitely going to have to next year because he has now realized there's numbers on them and they open. So he's asking me to open them all and we're taking them all off the tree one by one, huh? <laughs> That's so funny. That's so, so funny that the ornaments. It is. It is. <laughs> Good morning. I don't think I officially said good morning yet. I am just making my breakfast here real quick. I had a cup of coffee earlier and uh, we're, I'm not eating a big breakfast because we're actually going to IHOP in a little while. Um, last year we did the Grinch cakes and I think they're elf on the shelf cakes, but they're still green. So I'm still calling them Grinch cakes because Brayden loved that. But anyway, um, Jason's still asleep. It's only like eight o'clock. So I am actually cutting a piece of this Christmas bread as it's called Jason's uh, dad's girlfriend brought this over last night and it looks awesome. It smells awesome. So I'm excited to try it. It's called Christmas bread. I've never heard of this before or had it before. So we'll see. And once Jason gets up, we're going to get ready and go eat breakfast at IHOP. And then there's something going on at our local civic center. It's like a Christmas shindig. So we may head over there too after it starts at noon. Oh, and look what else she made us. Oh my goodness. This is so bad. I did not eat all this junk in my house. Fudge. Homemade chocolate fudge. So, this is the reason as soon as January hits. I'm going back for, for like, legit on a fast way to fat loss. I'm just doing it for myself because I know my plan. So, that's the plan for today. Let's come over here. Did we find Grinch cakes? Yeah. Yeah. Can you point to them? There they are. So, we're going to order Raiden a side of Jolly Cakes, aka Grinch Cakes, and I'm going to get the meat combo, and Jason is going to get this masterpiece. It was called the Roast Beast Omelette last year, but now it's the Holiday Ham and Sausage. And I'm sure the ingredients are different too, but I just think it's funny how they like tailor the menu towards their theme. Very cute. This one has convinced my child that Santa likes Dr. Pepper and tacos instead of cookies and milk. Go on ahead, ask him. Hey, does Santa like cookies and milk or tacos and Dr. Pepper? <laughs> Good job. See what I live with? Breakfast is here. Grinch cakes. Food. You want a fork? What do you have, man? Grinch cakes. You ready to eat breakfast? Yep. Ooh, what's yours look like? Ooh. Here we are. You want to go see what we can find? Yeah. Yep. Ooh, is that an alligator? Welcome to the south. Oh my goodness. Look at all the fun in here. You want to go check it out? Yeah. Let's go see what we can do. Toss it. <laughs> Good job. Oh, say thank you. Show me what's in your bag. What you get? Thanks. Are you playing some games? Yeah. Yeah. Did you make a card for Santa? Let's show it. Can you take out your card? Whoa, look how good. And you even wrote him a note. Ooh, good job. So here, you give your card that you made for Santa to Santa, and you get a gift. And then you also play games. That's how we got this bag full of goodies. What are you going to tell Santa you want for Christmas? A trampoline. Ooh, do you think Santa's going to bring you a trampoline? Yep. Have you That's a round. You got a kick in here? That's very hard to blow up. You need some power and love to do that. Look at mom. Thank you. Very powerful room. Bye, Hope. Oh, wow. Whoa. Great 
Okay, come on. We were just about to leave when they called Brayden's name for a door prize. Look what he won. That was a cool event, huh, man? Did you have fun? That was awesome. And we're coming home with a bag full of stuff. How fun. Thank you, City of Lake Charles. <laughs> played all the games that they had at the event and Brayden won all these things so you know the candy he'll eat these things I don't know but anyway he was excited about all his little trinkets in his bag and then each kid uh, when they met Santa received a gift which kind of blew my mind so Brayden got this little Transformers figurine they were giving all kinds of stuff out Legos and you know other gifts like that so this was pretty cool and then we were waiting around just for a few minutes to see if they called his name and they did and he won this as his door prize we're like oh my goodness so that was totally worth it we had so much fun and so did Brayden especially he loved playing the games and meeting Santa and all those things so yeah I'd say that was definitely a success so we had briefly discussed going to the Alexandria Zoo today Alexandria is about a two hour drive. It's like the middle of Louisiana and we're at the bottom corner. Um, they do a nighttime light display at the zoo. So we really had thought about doing that because Braden loves Christmas lights, but we kind of didn't want to waste like our whole day driving and you know, it's the last Saturday before Christmas and Jason's been working a lot. So we kind of wanted to spend time together. So instead this morning when we woke up, I was like, let's go, you know, eat our IHOP, which was going to be the plan anyway. And then I saw that our civic center, um, that are actually our city was hosting a free event at our civic center for kids for Christmas. So that's where all of that came from. And then tonight with my parents, we're driving to Orange, Texas, which is about 45 minutes away. There's a place called the Shangri-La Gardens and they have it all decked out for Christmas with their lights. So I figured 45 minutes versus two hours, that would work and my parents are going to come along with us and then i think we're going to go to beaumont which is a little bit further than orange and try to eat at McAllister's. if y'all know me y'all know i love me some McAllister's, and they shut down McAllister's in my town about three years ago and i've been so sad ever since so every time i get a chance to anywhere we're nearby McAllister's, i'm like that's what we're eating so we're gonna have McAllister's for dinner tonight and uh that is totally gonna make my weekend <laughs> I have a little bit of time while Braden naps, so I pulled out all the rest of the gifts we have to wrap. A few more came in, and I purchased a few more, and now I should be completely done, except the trampoline we need to put together. So this is all ready to be wrapped and put under the tree. I'm going to leave this one in the back room, and I'll add it out on Christmas morning. So, you know, whoa, Santa, whatever. So, yeah. So one thing I forgot to mention is the gift I purchased for my mom. I love Joffrey's coffee. She is a decaf fan. Um, my favorite is this one. This is a super good blend of coffee. So when I bought my mom's gift, I bought one for myself. I bought this one for myself. And then these two are for my mom. She likes the beans so she can grind them herself and drink some fresh coffee every day. So yeah, if you're ever looking for a gift to purchase for someone, they have a full variety of Disney blends on the Joffrey website. Highly recommended. Very, very good. We made it to Orange and the we made it to Orange and the Shangri-La Botanical Garden. So that is crazy the traffic. We had to park pretty far down because the parking lot was full and uh, there's lights as far as you can see. So hopefully that means this is good. We shall find out. What you think, dude? Whoa. You wanna go see the lights? Do you see the snow? Go see it. What do you think of that? Is it snowing? <laughs> Is it snowing?
Who's on that tree? Oh, Mr. Grinch. Oh my goodness. Okay, come on, let's keep walking. Each of these trees are sponsored by various departments and local organizations. And this tree has local race medals on it. I see the Santa Hustle, I've run that one. There's an Iron Man, Jingle Bell 5K. There's like, oh, that's a turkey trot. How funny. I wonder who has this tree. I wonder if this is like the Beaumont Running Club or something. That's a wrap. It took us about, I'd say, 45 minutes to walk through. Because we were strolling, literally, walking slow. It was very pretty. There's still a ton of people here. It's the last night for this, and so that's why it's so busy. All right, McAllister's tea it is. What do you think about McAllister's? Could have gone better. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is my favorite. Yes. Whatever you want, babe. Thank you. McAllister's broccoli cheddar soup is one of my favorites. And a sandwich. What you eating? We, um, um, we open pizza. A pizza. Right, today, what number are we opening? 22. 22. Okay. Open 22. <gasps> Another flag. You need my help? And there's just two more days after today. Two more days. This is open 23 tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's right. 23 tomorrow. I know I really haven't given you all a look at my Christmas decor this year. Not a whole lot has changed from what I did last year. I just didn't quite open as many ornament packages as I did before. A lot of them are Hallmark, and I didn't feel like taking them out of the package. So, this is the tree, the mantle. I did add these red poinsettia pieces they're just picks to the mantle and then the, the apple actually is sentimental to me because my grandmother had apples all over her tree and i actually still put up my grandmother's tree i just don't put up the apples so that was like a little nod to my grandmother and her tree um this is our tv case kind of all the same as last year all the little pieces and the um snow globes so these snow globes were free all these little ones you see across the top i collected them every year jc penny offered them on black friday because i know i'm a big black friday shopper uh and you can definitely tell age is getting to them which makes me kind of sad but that's okay they're way far out of the way so nobody can reach them and then here's our little disney village and our nativity with that little advent calendar brayden has been doing as well this is where i decided to put the piece we made at Junk and Gypsies on Thanksgiving weekend. I just put it in the corner. And then here's our dining room table. I do set it every year with my Christmas china. And that is the tree I was referring to. That is my grandmother's. There are several ornaments on here that did belong to her. Let's see if I can find one. So the Nutcracker. Grandma. I mean, uh, Mrs. Claus here. Um, I know I put several of them over the little train. This little Mr. Claus, these were some of my favorites as a child. So of course they had to go out. And then the little ski guy. There are a lot that were broken or just wear and tear over the years, but these are the ones of hers that I chose to put out on my tree. And then this is her tree skirt at the bottom. So it is very old school, but I love it. This tree sheds so bad. I don't know how many more years I'm gonna get out of it, but I love it because it's sentimental, it reminds me of my grandmother, and it's just a nice little extra touch here. And then these are the pillows. I bought this pillow new at Shop Disney this year, and then we got this blanket on the Disney Cruise, and I love it. It's very um, non-like, hey, I'm a Disney blanket, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't know, I just think it's so cute, So, and it's very, very, very comfy. This is the breakfast nook area. 
yet another one of my grandmother's decorations that was always one of my favorites so it is the centerpiece on this table i kind of did like a golden red scheme in here there's some snowmen up top and then here's just a few things from um you know throughout the years that little santa is my grandmother's um this frame i don't know if i've showed this to you oh i did on the halloween one so i changed it all to christmas pictures of brayden over the years that we've taken with our photographer and there's a nativity my mother-in-law bought us the first year we were married and even my keurig is festive because i make the water green and the screen red so you know we gotta have festiveness there all of my towels are snowman towels in the kitchen and yep yeah, that's pretty much what i got going on in here i don't know it's full of coats because it's cold outside but uh, i have not even had a chance to decorate it yet for regular year because it just literally got put up so when i was decorating for christmas i said oh look i have a new ledge for things so that's what this is so this is something i've just continued the tradition of these are all our christmas cards from every year that we've been together all the way down to this year um some of them you know have just me and jason and the and that was before madeline even existed so there's me and jason and pixie for several years and then there came along madeline it's kind of funny to look at these and see like how our lives have changed so much and then i was pregnant with brayden there and then there's brayden so anyway these are fun i love just kind of keeping them from every year and looking back and remembering um these fun christmas memories all of the things we won at the shindig yesterday really made an impression because he's still playing with them. <laughs> Madeline, watch out, please. So look how funny. I bought our matching PJs here. So my husband has them too for from Shop Disney. So we will match this year for Christmas. And then my family, including my brother and sister-in-law and mom and dad, we all have matching PJs too. So that's kind of fun. We're going to wear those at my brother's house for Christmas. Okay. Okay, I will. I found this shirt at Target this year and the suspenders and bow tie came from Dillard's a couple years ago and the pants are from Baby Gap. And the shoes are from Carter's. How cute is this Christmas outfit? You are so handsome. Hey. I bought this from the Target. I bought this from Target. <laughs> I did. Are you so handsome? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right, we're headed to church. It's Christmas Sunday. Happy Christmas Sunday! We made it to church. We're all decked out for Christmas. Can you say hey? Can you say happy Sunday? We're gonna head in. My friend Kim texted me an SOS this morning because she needs help because one of her coffee shop workers was unable to make it this morning due to a sick child. So I'm one of her backups. So I'm gonna bring him, <clears throat> excuse me, to the nursery. Well, we're gonna get a cinnamon roll first and then I'm gonna bring him to the nursery and uh, help Kim out. Say bye. bye. Have a good day. church today and I realized I literally have nothing to do this afternoon and it is such a glorious feeling seems like every day has had something going on so I decided I'm gonna go for a little run here I'm probably just gonna do like three miles maybe four just depending on how good my leg feels we shall see this will be the first time I've run on concrete without a stroller in a little while so hopefully it'll go okay and uh yeah that's how I'm gonna spend a little bit of my afternoon and it feels amazing I'm super excited. Oh my goodness, I just ran five miles. Well, ran walks, but I mostly ran five miles on the concrete for the first time since June and it's December. Oh my gosh. I mean, I ran at Disney World, but not like at a home training race. My leg is eh, I kind of can feel it, but it's not near what it was. My dad and Jason are putting up Brain's trampoline as his Christmas gift, so that's where I'm headed. Like I said, my leg feels iffy. 
I notice it, like I can feel it. It's not painful. I don't know how to explain that. I guess anybody that's ever had an injury, you understand about being like hyper um, aware of how you feel. And so anyway, or how your, your injury feels. So that's where I'm at. Um, but anyway, Jason put Brayden to sleep or get read him books and all that and put him down for a nap so I could go for a run and then during the rest of his nap they're putting the trampoline together so that felt great I feel good physically I'm breathing well it's a beautiful gorgeous day as you can see so I have uh, some devotional reading to do and I really don't know what else I might watch Hallmark Christmas movies who knows it's like crazy to not have anything to do I, I don't know what to do with myself when I don't have anything to do but it's a pretty darn good feeling um some girls from high school are getting together and I don't get to see them ever so I think I'm gonna go hang out with them for a little while but I'm waiting till my dad and Jason are finished at least putting the trampoline together I'm helping them um I'm their extra hands so I have to be around just in case they need me so getting it done It is almost done. Just the tedious work of tying that net to the trampoline and I was seeing eyeballs. So he's about to wake up. I think I'm gonna head inside and then go meet my high school friends for dinner. Yep, there he goes. There he goes. Here at Walk-Ons. I think I'm gonna get the Cajun Dillas, but I'm not 100% sure. I might end up with a salad, we'll see. I really like this one. So, y'all know I don't sit still well at all. It's obvious as of tonight. Um, so I ended up helping Jason put the trampoline and my dad put the trampoline together and then I went to dinner with a friend from high school. So it was a fun night. I really enjoyed it. It was good catching up with her and seeing her because she lives in Fort Worth, Texas, which is like six hours away. So I don't get to see her very often, but uh, she was in my wedding. We were really good friends in, in high school, in college. So anyway, I went to a, um, a very small private school. There were only 19 of us that we graduated with and a lot of us have stayed in contact with each other. You know, we're approaching 20 years next year. So I graduated in 2000. So we're approaching our 20 year class reunion. So anyway, it was nice catching up with her and yeah, it's been a good weekend. So thank you for joining us. Uh, we had, I had so much fun sharing with you. I love putting these together every year and you know, reliving the memories. So Anyway, it will be Christmas next time, um, or by the time you see this, so Merry Christmas. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful Christmas, and I will see you next weekend, which is going to be the weekend that I celebrate Christmas with my brother in New Braunfels and sister-in-law in New Braunfels, and my parents. We're all going to do our main Christmas then, so there's not going to be a whole lot going on here on actual Christmas. I'm going to try and, like, video Brain's reaction to the trampoline to share with y'all and I think I'm gonna put that in next weekend's um vlog but anyway yeah I hope y'all have a great Christmas and I will see you next weekend take care bye